Hi guys, again, thanks for all the questions. So, some other questions that were in. So, Podrick and Seamus from the school last. When you were younger, which sport came easier for you to play? So, for Podrick and Seamus, being honest, I think the sport that came that bit easier to me was football. But I suppose I went to a school that was a lit, there was a bit more emphasis on hurling. And I suppose at home here, we would have practiced hurling that bit more. So even though football came that little bit easier to me, I was constantly, constantly practicing hurling. So I suppose after a while, you know, there wasn't a whole pile of difference between the two. Good question. And then the second question they asked was, how often did you practice? So I practiced as often as I could. So anytime the training was on in school or in the club, I always made sure and got there, brought my gear and made sure to be at training. And then any sunny day like we have today, I was outside with my hurling and slitter and my football, practicing as much as I could. Thanks, lads. Next, we have Alex. So Alex plays football with Dunamore. She plays Camogie with uh, Bullock and she plays, plays um, GA with Tripsy as well. So Alex asked, did you ever have to play against someone you were good friends with and did you have to take them down? Good question, Alex. So I suppose as I, as I got a little bit older, as I started playing on Cork teams and on colleges teams, I got to know more people who were playing and definitely I had to play against friends which is tough and it's, it's something you have to learn, I think, to get good at. But always remember, when you're playing with a team, you are doing your best for that team. And the player you are marking is going to be doing her best for their team or his best for their team. So before the game you shake hands, both of you do your best. After the game you shake hands and you're still great friends after the game. I suppose the, the, the hardest one of those was one time I was playing when I was playing camogie in college with UCD, my sister was playing camogie in college with UCC at the same time. So we actually had to play against each other at times. So that was the, the funniest thing, but don't worry, we're still friends as well. Um, and the second question that Alex has is, have you ever been so fed up in a match that you thought of quitting? So good question, Alex. So certainly I've been on, you know, involved in matches where you know, we've taken an awful beating and towards the end of that game, certainly you would be waiting for the final whistle to come and you would be feeling fed up. But a bad game or a bad match shouldn't define you. Anybody can play a bad game. You know, we've all been on teams that we've been well beaten. But you know, you should always try and learn from those things. Do your best when you're there. And always think towards the next match. How can I do better the next day? And don't let the bad match or the bad game define you. Try and improve, move on and enjoy the next game. So thanks lads for your questions, really appreciate it.